gonna do now is, uh, you guys have seen enough of that level, I know. I'm gonna show you guys another one that some of you had the opportunity to play on our TVs, and I'll definitely load this up for anybody that wants to come give it a shot after. Um, this is called Buried Alive, and this will truly give you guys uh, an experience of what Frostbite 2 has done to our game. So, uh, at this point in the race, Jack is in about 75th place. We're about halfway through the run, and you're in Colorado. Jack has decided to try and take a shortcut in a way that he thinks will help him positionally. Unfortunately for him, he didn't know that the road was closed due to avalanche blasting. So Jack's kind of in a predicament. He can either try and bust through and risk his life trying to get through this avalanche, or if he really wants to, he could go back and retry it all over again. He's going to lose his places. He's not going to be able to uh, make up the time that he previously made up. So. You're going to see snow coming down, you're going to see avalanches, you're going to see boulders and rocks come down, and uh, this one's a lot harder than the last one. So what we've done to adjust for the challenge is we only have one other driver. This is what we call a boss battle. So boss battles in the game are going to be on the very difficult levels, and you're only going to have to go against one other person, but the elements are truly going to come into play. So when we talk about the elements in Frostbite 2, this is the level that best exemplifies what we're discussing. So as soon as it gets ready to go, you're going to see Jack's going to be ready to go. He's going to be kind of con contemplating what to do, and then um, you know we'll kind of see his decision from there. So let's give it a quick sec. Sorry, guys. It's pre-alpha software, so it's not fully complete, but it's going now. So if I crash again on this one, I'm the worst Need for Speed player ever. So. 